Wow. Why is it not recording my voice? That's not good. Oh, shit. Or maybe... The test headphones to hear my voice were turned off. <laughs> alright, yeah, so it sounds alright. Welcome to Biscuit Boys Fallout New Vegas Chill Time. I'm going to be playing through Fallout New Vegas uh, from the start and hopefully all the way to the end, including DLC. I've finished this game a ton of times. And I know most of the hidden secrets, gems and easter eggs. So I'm hoping to show you folks those too. Now I'm going to be quiet for this amazing game intro. Atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express, packaged for the new Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. 
got what you were after. That's a payout. Yeah. Pay You're crying in the rain, Pally. Crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Waking up over here. Time to cash out. Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. But I ain't a dig. Made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do?
most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Good so far. Go ahead and give it a bigger dose of this stuff. Get going right quick if we get back to where you had to be. That's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and drop them. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. 
house. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Hmm. Sometimes when you... But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay, how about this one? Last one. That's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head.
I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I moseyed in town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 26 to be. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. 
Happy trails. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal camps. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card table. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to... Yo, so my mic's been muted for a while. You won't be ready. I don't even know when I muted it, so fuck. That's so bad. I've said so much. <laughs> Fucked up. Oh, uh, fuck. Um, fuck it, yeah. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38. But nobody goes in or out except as robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules. So I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, <sighs> nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you. It's got to be a good thing, right? Yeah, I remember I muted it now. I muted it for the intro cutscene. So everything I've been saying has been fucking muted. I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> Sup? Welcome to Biscuit Boys, Full at New Vegas Chill Time. I'm just gonna recap the stuff I said. Uh, I'm doing New Vegas because I was playing for free, because I've never finished the DLCs on free, and I was gonna play complete all those, but I got bored and just wanted to play New Vegas. And then also I was talking to um, my fellow streamers, uh, Young Cryo and. Akuma TV, and they said they've never played Fallout New Vegas, so I thought I'll stream it, and they can, you know, either catch it or catch it on uh, past broadcasts or YouTube. So it's up to you guys. Uh, what else did I fucking say? I said a lot of shit in Dark Mitchell's office about making sure to get the secret book and the uh, secret energy pistol, laser pistol, which I did. And I said I probably won't go back for the uh, nine millimeters of machine gun. Well, I can't really can't remember some of the other stuff I said. Just trying to remember where your grave is because I know you can. Oh, I haven't got a fucking shovel, so I just walked out here for no reason. Oh yeah, your grave. You don't need a shovel, do you? Self-hypocrites. 
Oh yeah, no, I don't have that add-on. That's the thing. I used to have the uh, add-on where when you went back to your grave there was like a bag of items for you to pick up. But I don't know. So this is way to your guys' time. I will do the this quest here, back in the saddle. Oof. And then I'll buy a shovel. Come to the graveyard, dig shit up. Try and get out good springs as fast as I can because I fucking hate this place. I remember how you go third person. It's not that bad. Oh, today's physician wasn't one of the books you read and get a permanent. It was like a temporary. Nope. That's the button. Look at my guy, biscuit boy. We need to get you that pimp boy, don't we? What's up, old man? I'm easy Pete. I'm a giant man. No fuckers up. The one in the fancy suit seems to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town. The fantasy shoot. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Yeah, Matthew Perry, the fucking dirty bastard. Charlie well, and friends can't be fucking trusted. To settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Big Horners. <laughs> nah, nah. Means I poked the old <laughs> building looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. Oh, pardon me. Fucking hell. Way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I've not slept. I'm so fucking tired. It's just that they make you part of them, whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Tell me about the Legion, those bunch of motherfuckers. I know all this shit, man. Not sure how you're supposed to it's Caesar, you pretty. I'm just gonna skip this shit. I just really want to get. I'll, I'll stop skipping stuff once I get out of Good Springs. I just really, really don't fucking like Good Springs. Does my nothing. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, finally, the music's actually playing. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. It's just Moira. It's just Moira at fucking four out of three. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay. I'd have to meet you outside behind the saloon. Is this guy worth talking to? No. Everything alright? Well, let's just finish this first, alright? Oh, can you hurry up then, Moira, you fucking bitch? Sonny, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Can I shoot your dog? I know how to vats, man. I love it, I'm streaming and my Twitch says I'm offline. That's great. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Shit. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Yeah, I love it. it says try crouching. Oh, that's how. Cool. Nice shot. Nice. Well, that's a start. 
But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. Normally, I never skip the tutorial, just because you get XP and this gun. I fucking hate this tutorial. Stand up, you prick. Hurry the fuck up. Where's my music? The game is more bare. Yeah. Say the game is more bare. The fucking radio going on. I won't be this tired every time I stream. I promise. We got Just today. To clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going anywhere. My love for you is too strong. Okay. No have on. you ever okay. been in love with a celebrity? Now come on, you don't have to be shy. I feel it between us two. Sometimes. I she snuck there and said, "Let's shoot the geckos." There's no chance of hitting the geckos from back there. You gotta get proper up close. Ah, see you running, boy. Oh you yeah. cheeky bastard. <sighs> Fucking pouncers they are. That's it Sonny, you don't do anything. You know, I took a Sonny once I'm done fucking Get my gecko meat or hide. Something can fucking wait. Doesn't it can't doesn't it stay as, yeah, it gets you clean water. That's what that does. Oh I did not sleep last night at all. That's why I'm so tired, not that energetic guys. <laughs> <laughs> If I slept, I'd be like sugar rush by soft doors. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially the two of us. Come with me. Just a go. Do 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 do. See, my music's broken again. The radio. It's winding me up. I don't really like silence, I don't do well with silence. I did nothing. <laughs> no, my bullets. And we're back. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I feel something magic in the air tonight. And I'm not just. Is it skipping about all the songs? And it's just. just in. His Rivers talking. The fuck? If it is, I'll just turn it off because I don't really want to hear his announcements about the. Did she die? Oh no. Boy, the Mojave Wasteland is just a fascinating place, isn't it? 
Yoink, not take away your star. Mori, you can fucking wait. I need to stop swearing. There's no point for some of this swearing. Like, no need for some of it. Trying to remember where Indiana Jones is. I'm pretty sure he's on the road out of town. It's hard to miss. Uh, I guess we'll find him when I do the quest to leave town. I swear he's by the road, so I'll just follow the road when I do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me turn off the radio so I don't get all the... Announcements. Well, I'll keep that because it adds to my switch. But let's do this. Let's hotkey some items. Not what I wanted to do. That was weird. Let's hotkey some items. Uh, that one there. That one there. This is 15. That does 8. So I'll have that one there. Stamp X there. Sunset there. I'll do for now. Oh no, my Red X. I didn't... I didn't sign Red X. This is not Red X, right away. This is the one I want to sign. I haven't got any. Yeah, no point. Sunset change burrito. There's not a day passes by. I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. You accept it, bitch. My end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, sure. Because it gets me stuff. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll. Oh, the schoolhouse like full of red roaches, I think. No, oh, he's full of prayer mantises in it. They're not red roaches. Blim prayer mantis. Who's that then? Who's venturing out this far? That's the dog. Got stuck on something. Oh, there's Indy. Let's put on Indy's cap, why don't we? Aha! How do we look? Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't go to the graveyard yet because I need to get a shovel anyway. So I'll go back to the school, clear that out, get a shovel from the general store, then do the graveyard. I have a feeling by the end of the stream I'm still going to be stuck in Good Springs. Yeah, starting out in it. Gonna be boring a little for a little bit until we actually get into like the main chunk of the game that's enjoyable to watch and play. You've always got to play really boring beginnings. I'll say that Fallout 3 had that for it. The beginning is not boring. The beginning is so so fun, and then it's when you get into the middle is when it gets boring. And if the middle of a game is boring, it's not gonna carry you to the end. You can have a fantastic beginning and you can have a fantastic end, but if you've got a poor middle. I'm gonna go and Victor Shark. Fuck you, Victor. You got a poor middle. No one's gonna reach the end. No one's gonna carry on. This game has a very boring beginning and a very fantastic middle. 
and an equally fantastic ending. So yeah. I can listen to music using their radios, but mine it doesn't work for some reason. Again, it's probably to do with the fact I'm streaming and Twitch just has it built in. But I don't know. Yeah, these things. I guess I could just whack them, couldn't I? Oh, I didn't mean to drink a thing. I meant to get this out. Yeah, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of them. My weapon is in poor condition. I, I hit one thing. How is my weapon in poor condition? Schwack. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything interesting in the school. It's just beating a shit out of these things. And grabbing the quest item, I believe. That's one thing Fallout 4 had going for it. All your useless crap became useful because you could, you know, craft so much and do so much. Like that, they did good. But they lost bits, so they just didn't feel like a proper Fallout game. I oh know, I'm doing this the wrong way around. You open it with the lockpicks and then you hack the machine. You get double XP. Yeah, fuck it. I, I could have just selected take all. Oh, it's broken now. Stupid machine. Yeah, let's repair me, uh, Tyro. No haste. The fuck is my turtle doing? Why does he always want attention and make noise whenever I'm busy? Whenever I ain't busy, he's like, I'm just gonna lay here and look at you and be like, haha, fuck you. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting on you to get busy. Haha, you're busy now, now, attack, go. Oh, well, not attack, but you know what I mean. Oh, 50 minutes already, it does not feel like it, does it? I didn't even get the thing from the score. Where is it then? Is it, is it, is it in here? This is the pro. Uh, this is a problem. I, I think there's an exit on the score that takes you to like an infense bit. And that's where you get it, but I swear that's where that was. Or is it this? No. Uh, Well, I'm going to look at the local map. It's telling me to leave Good Springs here. What? Quest. Find those things. Leave. Now it's telling me to go back in the fucking school. Oh, no, it's not. Not bad. I guess you never have to empty out the school then. It's always done. Let's get a proper gun out again. Yoink. Let's get to that general store. I don't know why I'm whispering. I need a drink. Energy drink. I need more energars. I think you can, I think there's a shovel you can find and pick up, but I'm just going to buy one because I can't remember where it is. Wait, you. Pretty, fuck you. You're looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, sure. Do you know what you offset? Yeah, I'll just sell you some of the useless shit. That's it. Uh, scrap. What if I don't get anything quite? I'm gonna sell it. Pre-war money, mantis legs. 
gecko head. Gecko egg. Give me the money. Thanks. That's the thing, you just need a shovel on you, you don't actually have to equip it. No, you can just dig up holes. So useful. I somehow did not know that the first time I played through this game. Oh, rad scorpion. Oh, bark scorpion, not red scorpion. Still, same thing. I think the desert -y world of New Vegas works better just for an apocalypse as well. Oh, all that free. Oh, you. Oh, it's both like. I thought it was Cazadors for a sec. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I fired, and I missed. And I fired again, and I missed. And I fucking missed. And then I killed it. Now I got out of tire and I beat the shit out of the rest of them. Come here, you bitch. Oh, snow globe. Wink. Death to America. <laughs> I don't know why they said Death to America. <laughs> Oops. Rob some graves. That's yeah, what they would have wanted. They'd rather me have it and survive than someone else. Okay, can you hear that? When I look at this grave, I can hear like whispers. Oh. Yes, nice shot. Reload. Let's get some psycho and let's take all this shit off your grave. It's mine now, bitch. Grave robbing is so useful. Oh, there it is. Back to Sally. The adventure continues. It's a mile a minute this game. You fly a mile a minute. That's not the expression, is it? I don't know what the expression is. It's not that. It's not a mile a minute. I know that. It sounded so wrong saying it. Oh, I might just finish this quest and then head off. I know it's like an hour early, but I'm just knackered. Absolutely knackered. I promise next time I'll play for three hours instead of two to make up for this one hour. But I am shattered beyond belief. No amount of coffee and energy drinks is going to fix it. Also, I've muted for like the first fucking half an hour, so it's just not been the best opening stream for Fallout New Vegas. Next time I'll be here. The fuck is Sally? Why is she so long away? Yeah, next time I'll be up on one. And she knows with some dubstep while we play. Right now, I can't, I can't even. And my eyes are closing. No, again, not because of this game. It's I I stayed up all night last night. Uh, like I I slept for about two hours. So 
Oh, and my turtle's just got himself stuck. So that's fucking hilarious. Oh, he's got out. He's just scratching his back. My bad. Oh, Sally could have been closer. I could have fast travelled in her defence. See, if I went this tired, I would have. I'm, just, I'm spacing out. I'm not doing well. Wait, take your staff, woman. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do. All right now. Go on over to that camp. Yeah, make the things in the campfire. Cool. I will never do any of this again. Hey, that's not bad. See, all it takes to make a. Sometimes it won't be an important thing to get if it's all the same idea. You just... Well, I'm heading back now. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the prospect. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask. Cool. I'll go say hi to Trudy. But for now, I'm genuinely gonna save. And I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> it's so early, but I'm so tired. Thank you for watching my first ever Biscuit Boys Fallout chill time. Next time I'll be more Biscuit Boy and less chill time. Peace.